Aircel in fact has approached the national company light, uh, law tribunal, the court for insolvency and bankruptcy, the Mumbai branch of NCLT seeking bankruptcy. So what has happened here is that Aircel has been going through very difficult times as far as their financial situation is concerned. The company has been under uh, extreme financial stress. Uh, the company has a debt of over 16,000 crore rupees. This money was taken from a consortium of banks, the lead bank being State Bank of India. Uh, due to the financial stress, uh, the company has not been able to repay the interest on the loan taken from uh, these banks, which is why finally the company has now uh, requested NCLT to accept its plea for bankruptcy. Now, if the court accepts its, accepts its plea, then what happens next is that an insolvency resolution professional will be appointed. He will take over the operations of the company. The company's board, the directors will cease to exist. The board will be taken over by this resolution uh, professional and he will work out a repayment plan. Now this particular com company, Aircel, is also uh, in the middle of the ED investigations that's going on against Karthi Chidambaram because it's alleged that uh, investments were made into this company uh, from uh, Malaysia's Max uh, this is a joint venture uh, between Maxis and ASL. So, this uh, the investigations are now going on against Karthi Chidambaram there in that particular case. So, uh, we will get to know whether NCLT accepts the plea um, about ASL's bankruptcy maybe tomorrow.